Hey you guys, this is Boxy, and I'm gonna welcome you to Let's Play Jet Set Radio once we get over there. Never mind those people, they, they're they not there, you don't see them. So yeah, let, let's go check it out. It's actually, a, well, well, I'm sure most people know it's a pretty great game. I don't know anybody who who's played it who hasn't said anything good about it at all. Of course, I didn't play it when it was first released. I didn't really know anything about it until I got it for my 21st birthday a while ago. Like, last month. So I was pretty shocked at how good it was for the type of game that it is. I don't usually play these types of games, but then... This one seems a lot more unique than most skating games. I guess it wouldn't be absolutely accurate to call it a skating game. Oh god, I forgot how loud this was. It seems something common with these Dreamcast ports to the Xbox. Well, this isn't a port, it's on the Xbox Live Arcade. So yeah, this is Jet Set Radio, a, a game with lots of style, and it's pretty awesome. And for some reason it reminds me of No More Heroes. Somewhere in Asia, there is a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyo To. But everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo To are the punks wearing magnetically driven wow. online skates, powered by <laughs> newly developed Metrium batteries, and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station, manned by the DJ Professor K, that plays nothing but non-stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy's by the people of Tokyo To. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkaka Group, combined their efforts to co-found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyo To have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudies have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo To are ready to explode. So yeah, that was a quick backstory, and then we're thrown right into a tutorial, pretty much. You guys will see. Oh jeez. So we got this girl named Gum. The all these characters in this game have weird names. She'll uh, she'll teach you some things. And I guess in this kind of story context, you're this guy named B trying to join the GGs, which is some, I don't know, roller skating gang clan thing. I don't know how to explain it. it this, this game is kind of over the top, which I guess is also kind of similar to No More Heroes. Of course, this is only rated T, so of course you don't got any like killing people or blood or anything really. Not anything overly violent. And you know, I don't mind that. I don't I don't care. I play Kirby games and all that. Anyways. Every time you you clear something like that, you'll get your character to do a little dance. And yeah, you'll of course you'll get to play as more characters than just Beat, which is the guy we're playing as right now. So yeah. What's our next thing we gotta do? Oh, we're just grinding on stuff, I guess. That looks easy. So yeah, I guess it, this this game isn't exactly a skating game in that like there's no specific button combinations to do tricks. You just depends on how fast you're going, and you just gotta press A to jump, and you'll do some random trick for a random number of points. And it doesn't really well. Points do come into play, but only for score. You don't really have to get any certain score to beat the game. So that's a good thing. And here's where the major part of the game comes in, and I just skipped that because I'm stupid. You gotta collect these spray paint cans and s spray paint graffiti on stuff. And that's basically the whole point of the game, really. You just go around um, spray painting shit. Of course you got a time limit so you gotta remember you gotta memorize every place and where the spray paint tags are and I'll get more into that after we get out of the tutorial. Of course that won't be for for a while. 
Probably won't be until next video, actually. Oh god, we unlocked some gamer pictures, but who cares. So, now we gotta listen to Tab. Pretty much, there will be, like, more characters that you'll have to unlock, and most of them will see- they, most of them seem to have, like, three different tax- small tasks you have to do to unlock them, so... I guess this is kind of like that, in a way. Here's more spray painting. These are bigger tags you have to do, so... It's basically like a quick time event with a, with a control stick. And usually they're not too hard. They, they're pretty simple. Oh god, I hate this one. Oh, the music in this game is pretty great. I mean, some of them are strange, but... For the most part, this the soundtrack is pretty cool. I like it. Just the same as I like Nier's soundtrack. Anyway, this this is a thing. This is a thing that you don't really have to do for like in the rest of the game at all. There's this thing where you can like cling on to the backs of cars to get a ride, but it, it seems like unless you're going uphill, you'll probably go faster than a car. And, uh, sometimes the hit detection with cars seems funny, so even if you try to latch onto the back of one, you might, like, get knocked over. Of course you got a health bar in the top left corner, and if you run out of health, you're dead, and you fail the mission, the level, whatever. And so, yeah, I find that it's not really worth it to try to do that. Yeah. I think there's one more thing we have to do. I don't remember. Maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah, there's one more thing. This one's pretty easy compared to that last one. I actually failed the first time and I had to cut it out. I'm not sure if that's something I'll be doing a lot. Like, I don't know, if I fail something completely and have to restart the level, I'll probably cut that out. But, you know, if I'm just, you know, failing miserably. You know, I, I might not cut something out unless it takes too long. But, but this isn't too bad, we're just grinding. And grinding is something you'll... It's not too hard to do, but it's something you'll want to learn to go from one rail to another. Because it gets you around a lot quicker than just normal skating, so... Yeah. Oh, we're cool. Yeah. Totally. So we joined the GG's. Yeah. Oh, this is a piece of advice I didn't really listen to the first time. Bullets can't touch you while you're dashing. I, I played this game pretty much blind without knowing anything about it. Oh, sorry, we gotta get a cutscene. I'll have to say it after. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pilot power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood, through the streets, and right into your brain! We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're riding high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Three games are fighting for the Tokyo streets. In the west, from Benton Cho, the city of the night, we got those high-tech maniacs, those man machines, the noise tanks. And in the east, from Kogane Cho, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy monster mask-wearing gang, Poison Jam. And from Shibuya Cho, in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the GGs. The GG's home turf, Shibuya Cho was just attacked. Was it Poison Jam? They were talking about spreading out there. Or maybe it was the noise tape, trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order Isatsu bracelets all ready for you. So, get yourselves to the bathroom and brush those teeth, boys and girls, because a whole load of trouble is heading your way! So yeah, as I was saying, I, when I first played this game, I thought it would just be some kind of simple skating game. 
And I really wasn't expecting there to be any, like, people totting guns shooting at you, so... I didn't remember the advice about having to dash to avoid getting shot by bullets and stuff, which is actually really helpful. Anyway, you can make your own graffiti, and I decided to speed it up because I took a long ass time just fiddling around with this. Because I, I, I still don't really know how to do this. I, I guess there's no real way to do it too well, unless you're like really creative or something. But I, you know, I'm, not, I'm just not good with this editor they have. I, and I, I heard that this isn't in the original game, they, this was added for the Xbox Live version, so... Yeah, I, I might be wrong, but I don't know. But yeah, I decided I'd show this off a little bit. And, you know, I, I, I really suck at painting with this thing. I, I was trying to draw like a banana or something, because I didn't know what else to do. But, you know, I, I figured, hey, this sucks, I'm just gonna do something else. Probably something real simple. I, I think I decided to draw a box because, you know, my name is Boxy. And I like Metal Gear Solid, so I decided to draw, like, a really simple version of the box from Metal Gear Solid. And I still took a long time to draw it, and it's not perfect at all, but still. But, yeah, anyway. Um, what else was I gonna say? I mean, this is pretty boring to watch. Jeez. What am I doing? I don't remember taking this long. What are we doing? Oh yeah, yeah, I think I was trying to find out how you zoom in. There we go. Yeah. If you guys can paint better with this game, you should like, show me a video response or something. That'd be nice. Yeah. And I didn't want, I didn't play, play this part back, sped up. This is kind of silly. So yeah, there's three different sizes of graffiti that you can make. Or, or you can like choose from a different... If you want to, you can choose from, you know, different graffiti already made for the game. But I think you can only save one of each of your own creations. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I didn't know th about this thing the first time I went through this game. You can like change the style it's in on this circle graph thing. Yeah, and you can like change the size, change the shape of all or individual letters. Uh, this editor is actually pretty cool now that I, now that I think about it. It's pretty cute. It's got a, like a lot of different tools that are kind of hard to get used to, but once you get used to them, they're they're pretty good. It's not a big part of the game though, so yeah. What I found interesting is that they they'll even show your graffiti in the cutscenes. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, let's see, let's choose a texture. Mm. But yeah, um... What was I going with this? Oh yeah, the, the three different sizes of graffiti, they actually have, uh... Gameplay significance. But like, the small ones, you just gotta press, um, the left trigger and you'll instantly paint them, but... The medium ones and the large ones, you'll, you'll go into those quick time event things, so that's probably not the right word for that. I mean, you don't really gotta be quick about it unless the cops are after you and they're shooting at you. In which case, I'll probably want to run away and come back to it. And we'll, we'll get more into that in the next episode, once we actually have to deal with those kinds of situations. And, uh, yeah. I, I like boobies, if you guys didn't know. Oh, jeez. And I didn't realize that the B would be cut off, the first B here, so this graffiti is kind of messed up, and once I realized it, I didn't want to go back and do it all over again, so, yeah. See, it, it's cut off there, but I didn't think it would be. See here, you can move the letters around individually. But anyways, if you, if you don't care about this graffiti thing and you just want to see gameplay, you can, uh... Probably go to the next video, because the rest of this video is just me fooling around with this stuff. So yeah. And with that, I, I'm not sure what else to say, really. Um, I, I guess the large ones use even more graffiti than, uh... Use more spray paint than, um... Than the medium-sized ones, obviously. 
I don't remember the exact amount, and of course, depending on the character you're playing as, because you'll get to play as more than one, um, they use different amounts of spray paint cans for each, uh, for each size. At least that's what I, I think they do anyway, as far as I can remember. Maybe not, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm not sure. Anyways, hopefully this isn't too vulgar for YouTube. Uh, who knows, maybe somebody will like flag my videos and get my channel taken down. That'd be hilarious. So before we end this, I'm gonna switch. Um, th th these are all the different kinds of graffitis you can get, like, that you can choose from. So you can have like three different sets at, at a time. So yeah, with that, I think we're gonna leave off this first video here, so I'll see you guys next time when we actually get to do our first real level. So see you guys then. Peace and chicken grease.